بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایک نئی ایپیسوڈ کے ساتھ ربی اول کی اس اسپیشل ٹرانسمیشن میں ٹرانٹو تھری سکسٹی کے ساتھ پھر حاضر ہیں ناظرین ہم نے آپ سے وعدہ کیا تھا کہ اس ربی اول کے مہینے کے اندر ہم ایک خوبصورت پروگرام بچوں کے ساتھ نوجوانوں کے ساتھ آپ کی خدمت میں لے کر آئیں گے اور الحمدللہ آپ اس کی دو ایپیسوڈ دیکھ چکے ہیں آج کے اس پروگرام میں انشاءاللہ شاء وی ہیو سم مور پارٹیسپینٹ ہو آر کمنگ ہیئر ٹو پارٹیسپیٹ ان دا کرت کمپٹیشن ایز ویل ایز ان دا اسپیچ کمپٹیشن بٹ بفور گوئنگ ٹو موو آن اینڈ یو ول لسن دوز دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ از دا لائف آف پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دیٹ وی آل ہیو ٹو فالو کہ ایک نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی ایک حدیث تھی خوبصورت حدیث کہ تم میں سے کوئی بھی مومن اس وقت تک نہیں ہو سکتا جب تک میں اس کے لیے میں یعنی کہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سب سے زیادہ محبوب نہ ہو جائے وین ہی وین پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بیکمنگ دا بلوڈ ٹو آل آف اس وین وی وی نو ایون اوور پیرنٹس ایون اوور چلڈرنس وی لو پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مور دین دیٹ دین وی آر بیکمنگ دا مومن سو دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ دیٹ کہ ہم اپنی زندگی کے اندر نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی زندگی کو اور ان کی اسوا کو اپنے سامنے رکھیں اس معاشرے میں سچائی اور ایمانداری کے ساتھ زندگی گزاریں اس معاشرے کے اندر اسلام کے ایمبیسڈر بنے اور نہ صرف خود بنے بلکہ اپنے بچوں کے کے سامنے ایسی ایگزامپل سیٹ کریں کہ وہ بھی اس اسلام کی مشل کو لے کر اس معاشرے میں پھیلیں اور نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے اسوا کو ہر طرف پھیلا دیں کیونکہ ان سے بیسٹ رول ماڈل نہ اس سے پہلے دنیا میں کوئی آیا تھا نہ ان کے بعد کوئی آئے گا تو چلیے پروگرام کا آغاز کرتے ہیں آگے بڑھتے ہیں اور سب سے پہلے ہم غلط کمپٹیشن کی طرف جاتے ہیں لیکن اس سے پہلے حافظ عمیر صاحب سے ہم سنتے ہیں کہ جناب رولز اینڈ ریگولیشن کیا ہیں آج کے پروگرام کے حافظ عمیر صاحب السلام علیکم دا مارکنگ کرائٹیریا ول ڈپینڈس آن یور میموریزیشن یور تجوید یور پریزنس اینڈ ڈلیوری ایز ویل ایز یور فلوئنسی اینڈ ترتیل سو وی ول سی دیٹ اوکے وٹ ایور یو آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈیسائڈ ہاؤ گڈ یو آر ان میموریزیشن نو مسٹیکس اور ایکسیکٹرا ہاؤ گڈ یو آر ان تجوید پروناؤنسیشن آف الفابیٹس اینڈ ورڈس پریزنس اینڈ ڈلیوری ہاؤ ڈو یو ڈلیور اٹ رائٹ uh i'm like you are confident you are not shy you are not shivering you are not scared of us or anyone else and uh, last but not the least about flu- uh, fluency and 30 like okay, you are reciting in a normal speed it's not too fast not too slow or etc okay and, uh, and then we will have speech in speech uh, the most it will matter about your content as well as your message that what you are going to deliver what the message do we have from your speech as and then we will have your structure how your speech is a structure how well organized it is and uh, most importantly that how you are going to deliver it and how you are going to, to engage with us and the audience right it's not like that you are just standing and just start reading like a paragraph or like you are giving a khutbah it is not khutbah it is a speech a bit different than uh, the things and most importantly time that make sure that you are finished in three minutes uh, after two minutes and 30 seconds we will ring the bell it means that you have 30 seconds to finish it so let's start the current competition and we have our four contestant mm-hmm. here we have ayan we have yusuf we have another yusuf and we have uh, ilyas as well so alhamdulillah and let's see that uh, what they prepared for the qirat today so i want that uh, ilyas you want to try first assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is ilyas um i did my hiv in iccm islamic community center of milton and then i completed it in one pass academy Today I will be reciting Surah, Surah Al-Rahman from the beginning till Ayah 12. Bismillah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ar-Rahman. Allama Al-Qur'an. Khalaqa Al-Insan. Allamahu Al-Bayan. الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان 
وأقيم الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسر الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله خير So my next contestant, I want uh, Ayan. Ayan, can you go and please recite the <coughs> Surah Rahman, whatever the ayah, and introduce yourself as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ayan Haider, and uh, I will be reciting uh, Surah Rahman, uh, ayahs to 20. And uh, I memorized it on my own at home, also with like an uh, online Quran teacher. A'uzu billahi minash rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بهسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووزع الميزان ألا تدهوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وزعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العزف والريهان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ رَبُّ الْمَشْرِكَيْنِ وَرَبُّ الْمَغْرِبَيْنِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ يَلْتَقِيَّانِ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخُ لَا يَبْغِيَانِ فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان؟ ما شاء الله صدق الله العظيم، beautiful voice ما شاء الله، very nice recite recitation and إن شاء الله I will ask now Yusuf Yusuf Alam please come and recite the the ayat which you want and introduce yourself as well. السلام عليكم، my name is Yusuf Alam. I my hips was from Masjid Al Salam and I'm I'll do Surah Rahman from the beginning, inshallah. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ar-Rahmanu allama al-Qur'ana khalaqa al-insana allamahu al-bayan Al-Shamsu wal-Qamaru bi-husbanin والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيم الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسر الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام 
والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله يوسف what ما شاء الله very good recitation ما شاء الله excellent our next participant will be يوسف أحمد Yusuf Ahmad, please come and introduce yourself and then recite the Surah Rahman. I did my hijz from uh, Tarbiya and uh, right now I'm revising at ICCM. I'm going to read uh, the first uh, about 10 ish, 10 to 15 ayahs of Surah Rahman. A'udhu billahi min ash rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووطع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ما شاء الله ما شاء الله يوسف one very nice uh, recitation ما شاء الله and uh, so half is up so first round of the recitation is done alhamdulillah so alhamdulillah and they all mashallah recite very nicely huh? it was a the, very tough competition the very competition time, between yeah. these four because uh, all of them mashallah they are very good correct mashallah all of them there's no doubt about it uh, so let's move on to the our speech competition right and uh, and uh, so in the speech competition we have 3 minutes if we, so i will give you a a bell at 2.5 minutes so you know that now 30 seconds left to you compile your speech quick closing mum right so inshallah ta'ala so that's how we want to move on and this time uh, definitely we want somebody who, who who was the last in the qirat who they go for the first so yusuf yusuf ahmed you are my first competitor for the speech competition inshallah go for that Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters. Today, I want to emphasize about the importance of learning the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number one, divine command. Firstly, I'd like to start by saying that Allah says that we have to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is not a suggestion. It's a command. It's an obligation. Over 50 verses in the Quran state, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is our role model and that we have to follow him. The Prophet sallallahu life in religious practices and in moral conduct is the perfect and best example that we have in this day and age. Number two, increasing love for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu The seerah not only helps us gain knowledge about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu 
but it also helps us love him more. With every word we read about him, we tend to love him more. We tend to think how good of a person he is. If we want to study a, a prophet's seerah, any prophet, like Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, they're all in the Quran. However, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam is mentioned in the Quran, but to deeply know about him, we must study the seerah. We must study it and implement it in our lives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Muhammad, say, O Muhammad, if you should love Allah, then follow me. So Allah will love you and forgive your sins. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. <laughs> Number three, understanding the Quran. The seerah does not only help us know about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu It helps us know about the book that we always strive to do, that we always strive to learn about, the Quran. The Quran, it helps us understand the context of it, of how it was revealed, why it was revealed, and when it was revealed. <clears throat> Number four, inspiring optimism. Whenever we are faced with any difficulty or hardship, we always know and we can always turn back to the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad How he dealt with things, how his hardships were much, much more than we have ever experienced in our life. And not only him, it's also about the Sahaba, how their generation was so, so the best generation of all time, and how they strive through everything. In conclusion, studying the seerah is not a choice for Muslims. It's something that we should be doing. It brings us closer to Allah and the Prophet and the Quran as well. So inshallah, I hope that we can, from now on, if we are not already, we can all Study and implement the seerah into our lives. Jazakallah khair for listening. So that's a very good speech, mashallah. You bring that uh, is an obligation to follow the seerah of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what's the best uh, role model we have already. So my next contestant will be inshallah Yusuf. Yusuf uh, Alam will go and give your speech, please. Assalamu alaikum. So I want to talk about what is the importance of the seerah in our life as we live in North America. So seerah is like the, like the study of the Prophet's life and how he lived his life and how we should live our lives according to him. So seerah is not just a history lesson. It's like more of a, a, like a guide to how we should live our life. So one big reason we should follow the seerah is because it, because it teaches us about the respect and tolerance of our life. So, for example, we live in North America. So, in North America, we have many diverse uh, cultures, many diverse religions, many diverse ethnicities. So, to, so we should have like a level of respect and tolerance that we should treat everyone with kindness, with respect, with integrity. Because they're all humans. Because Sira, it helps us break down stereotypes and it helps us make like a strong bond within our community like for example your neighbor it, it so your neighbor is like a person it doesn't matter what 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 culture they're from or like what um what uh tribe they're from whatever your neighbor is the person who you should take care of the most because they will because they will come for you in times of hardship because they're the closest living to you they will like support you in times when of uh, hardship and need another reason why we should follow the sirah is because as a teenager myself, I, inshallah, I will be the leader of our, of our of tomorrow. And to like have a good leadership knowledge, we should follow the Prophet Sallallahu his like role model. Cause he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was like the perfect person, like the perfect exemplar in our lives. And he was the best of role models ever to live. He was the most influential person in like for in, in this age and day because his, uh, because of his manners. His manners were so, uh, it was so like, you know, uh, polite that people were attracted to him. And so this is like a very important thing to have. And so true leadership also requires us as Muslims to stand up for what is right, helping others when it is needed. And when we become those strong leaders, we can make a positive change on the upcoming world that we're going to face, inshallah. Also, the sira, because since we live in a very like busy life, sometimes we tend to forget what is the importance of religion in our life, and we just don't 
focus much on our spiritual, our mental health. So this is a very big factor in our life. And Sira reminds us that we should like, like relax a little bit, like go back to Sira and learn how we should take care of our, of our mental health and all that. Uh, in summary, I should say I, my, my main point is the Sira is not a, it's not a history lesson. It's more of a, a guide to how we as Muslims should live our lives and how our actions can impact uh, communities and how our, how our actions can impact the future. So uh, inshallah, let's embrace the Sira and let's make uh, the best place for, uh, all of, for all of us to live in. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. Very nice speech, uh, Yusuf. And my third contestant is Ayan. Ayan, please go and give your speech on Sira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Today, I'd like to talk about how the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a role model for all of humanity. Rabbi shahi wa sirli amri wa khulukatun bilisani yafqaw kauli. For starters, I'd like to ask, what is a role model? What is a role model to you? For me, a role model is someone I can look up to and say, man, I want to be like this person. I really want to be successful. I want to be like this person. But oftentimes we'll think that we'll look up to someone only for certain qualities. Say we look up to an athlete. We look up to, uh, say, Cristiano Ronaldo. We'll look up to him because of his athleticism and hard work. But the thing about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that, is that we can look up to him for all aspects of our life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, indeed in the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will have a good example to follow for him who hopes in the meeting with Allah and the last day and a person who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much. The messenger, uh, in, the messenger peace be upon him had qualities that made him an exceptional man. He was so truthful and honest that even before he became a messenger, he was known as a sadiq and alameen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised his ranks. Every time we are praying, we say, Allah, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin. We, uh, yet, he was, his rank was raised, but he never showed it uh, amongst the people around us. Nowadays, we'll see successful men go around treating others around them like they're nothing. They'll be rich and they'll say, oh man, this man is poor. I'm, I'm, I'm like a God compared to him. No, but the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was nothing like this. He used to breed brotherhood amongst the people and he, would, uh, he was uh, always forgiving. He would forgive the people around him. He, uh, in the conquest of Makkah, he came to Makkah and he, and he forgave everyone. All the people that wronged him, such as Abu Sufyan and many other people, they wronged Islam. They killed so many Muslims. They brought hardships upon Muslims. Yet he forgave them and many of the people that lived in Makkah, the kafirun at the time, they converted to Islam. He was modest. He had humility. He was a great leader in war. He was a great husband. He treated his uh, wives and he treated his daughters very well. He was loving. He would guide without asking anything in return. He would speak against racism and injustices. And there was another narration of the Prophet ﷺ. The messenger had been in sujood for such a long time that the Sahabas came in and they asked, Oh man, he's, is he dead? How long does one have to be in sujood to think that he, a man is dead? So, uh, and he, when he raised his head up, the uh, Messenger ﷺ was crying. And Jibreel ﷺ came down and said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent me down to you to see why you are crying. And the Messenger وسلم, said, Ummati, Ummati, my Ummah. This is how much he loved us. This shows how selfless the Messenger, peace be, upon us, uh, peace be upon him, was. May Allah help us strive to be more like the Messenger of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah accept from us. Amen. So we have last contestant of the today's speech competition, Ilyas. Ilyas, please come and give your Sira speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, in every field there are professionals, people who are the best at what they do, whether it's sports or science or whatever else. These are always people who everybody looks up to, who everybody wants to be like. 
in life, this person is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the role model. The role model for people worldwide. The blueprint on how to live a successful life. So today, I will give you some basic points to why he is, why his seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is worth following and learning. You know, as Muslims, we have been blessed by the Qur'an, the words of Allah. Yet Allah tells us in the Qur'an, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ Whatever the Messenger gives you, take it. And whatever he forbids you from, leave it. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he's a living example of how to follow the teachings of Islam in accordance to Allah's will. But to truly understand and follow the deen, we must pay attention to the life and teachings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his seerah, his biography. Imagine for a moment how lost we would be if we didn't have the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How would we know how to pray salah or give zakah or fast during Ramadan? See, these are fundamental aspects of Islam that are explained to us and demonstrated to us by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through his character, through his actions and teachings. Living in this society, a society that is rampant with sin and we're following the deen can become a challenge. The seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is what guides us. It's what helps us to navigate the complexities of our life. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions, they also went through hardships. They had to go through wars to bring the deen to us. And it's through our, his seerah that we learn these stories. It is through his seerah that we learn how to be just, how to be just even in the face of hardship. It is through his seerah that we learn how to be patient and compassionate and determined. It is through his seerah that we learn about his interactions with his family and companions and how he was not just a, so, not just a, a, a religious leader, but he was also a friend. So in conclusion, the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is not just a historical account. Rather it's, rather, it's a blueprint for living a life of piety and righteousness. So may Allah help us make a conscious effort to study the seerah and implement the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in our own lives so that we may be guided by the words of Allah مَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ مَا أَتَاكُمُ وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ وَجَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ الْخَيْرُ Very nice articulated that uh, a blueprint to live a life of righteousness, Prophet ﷺ life is the blueprint for all of us and uh, is a role model for all of us, definitely. So Nazreen, today you have heard our four contestants. And these four contestants, they put the khirat as well as the speech today. And I hope that you like all of them. And this is very difficult for the judge to really find out that who win or who goes to the final round. So we have to tabulate all the results and then inshallah coming back to you in a few minutes uh, that who will be our final contestant for the next episode. So just give a small break. So we have taken a small break and we had to say that we will come to our finalists and our finalists will tell you their names so that in the next episode ہمارے فائنلسٹ کے مقابلے دیکھیں گے تو کیا پروگرام ہے جناب کیا ریزلٹ رہا ہاں جی ماشاءاللہ مقابلہ بہت سخت تھا اور سارے ہمارے جو ساتھی ہیں کنٹیسن ہیں انہوں نے بہت اچھی تیاری کی دیفنیٹلی ایٹ واز ویری ہارڈ ٹو ڈیسائیڈ کہ ہو کن موو آن ٹو دا نیکسٹ راؤن اور دا فائنل سٹیج بٹ ہمارے پاس اب نام سامنے ہیں سو کرت کمپیٹیشن میں ہمارے پاس جو فائنل راؤنڈ کنٹیسن ہے اس کے اندر ہمارے پاس ہیں عیسیٰ عیسیٰ فریدی موسیٰ فریدی then we have یوسف احمد and last one we will have 
Ilyas Ayub. Ilyas. So we have Alhamdulillah four contestants who are who was moved to the, our final round, and for the Qirat competition, these are the first four Qira who are they actually recite their recitation, one of the best. And uh, I hope that your suggestion is also your result is also the same because you are watching Toronto 360 TV this competition. So we have Alhamdulillah, we have Isa Faridi, Musa Faridi. These are two brothers, right? Yeah. And we have Yusuf Ahmed and Ilyas Ayub. So these are mashallah, one of they and are the know, best. One of the important thing among all these four contestants, uh -huh. all four of them are al Hafiz. Al Hafiz. Oh, mashallah. That's that's a very good uh, news. And who are in the finalist for the speaker? Yeah, so for speeches, we will have Ayaza, we have Hafsa, we have Ayan, mm -hmm. and last one we have Yusuf Alam. Yusuf Alam. So we have four contestants for the, for the speech as well. And I can assure you, these are the best who did uh, perform in the speech their best and give the best points. That's why on the basis of their speech, everything these are the four who are move on to the final as a speech. Yeah. So we have uh, Aiza Khurram, we have Hafsa, Iman, we have Ayan, uh, Heather, and we have Yusuf Alam. So Nazi, inshallah, tomorrow or there, whenever we have the final episode, uh, we will come back with the final round of the Qirat competition as well as the speech competition. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Rasuli, Rasuli, Rasuli,